Hey everyone, it's Ben, and today we're going to take a look at some pretty cool looking multi tools, the new Baton series from SOG, coming up next on Living Survival. Now, I first saw these at SHOT Show, and I thought that they were very cool looking, very unique, and very different from your traditional multi tool look. So, each, each uh, tool in the series has a different capability. We're going to take a look at that. I was interested to get these in my hands and play with. I've been playing with them for the last couple weeks. So let's first take a look at the Q1. There are four separate tools included in the Q1 here. It, it does have an aluminum, I believe, case to it. So it does, uh, it is fairly heavy in the hand, gives it a good feel, good rock solid feel, which is nice. Uh, when I saw them at SHOT Show, I first thought that they were going to be all plastic and very lightweight, but it is good to know that they are, you know, do have some, some weight to them. It definitely helps uh, give integrity to the tool there. Certainly different from a traditional multi-tool, like I said. The first tool right off the bat in, uh, in this is the pen. So it's got a pressurized ink cartridge. It is replaceable just by removing the head here and you access it just by slipping out this little slide here. And so that's cool, gives you something to write with. Again, it does feel, you know, it does feel just like a larger size pen in the hand, so that's nice. Then on the uh, back side of the tool here, there is one tool that pops out, and that is a cap lifter or a bottle opener. Then on the end of there, you have a flathead screwdriver you could use that to pry, although I wouldn't pry anything super, you know, super hard with it. I mean, I can, I can uh, press it pretty hard. So I mean, you know, you could certainly do some light prying with it, but I wouldn't do any heavy prying with that. Uh, so there's two tools there. It does have a pocket clip, which is nice, and then the final tool is a pair of scissors, and you simply just pull the tool out like that, and that gives you access to the scissors. Now, the uh, one side of the handle is quite a bit longer than the other side so you know that may take a little bit of getting used to but certainly a very nice little pair of scissors here and uh, they are spring-loaded so that's great overall you know again it's a cool tool it's cool looking it feels good in the hand but again I'm struggling to find a practical use for this one in particular you know, I guess somebody that uses a pen a lot or someone who uses scissors a lot, you know, I could see this just sitting, you know, on someone's desk, maybe at work, you know, have a little, uh, you know, a cool, interesting piece to, uh, to talk about. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe on a desk at home or uh, on a workbench or something like that where you use scissors a lot and uh, you also need the capability to use a pen. That I'm sure there's people out there that would have that specific use that this tool would, uh, you know, would be quite practical for. You do have to slide it all the way shut before you slide it together. Or you'll have a hard time closing the uh, scissors there. So, you know, it's definitely cool, definitely unique. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments if this would be something that's practical for what you do or give me some other ideas for uses. You certainly could just slip it down into a, uh, a pocket as well slip it onto a bag with that pocket clip. So that's cool. Moving on over to the SOG Q2. Now this one is more practical for someone like me. The tools that it has built on, again, four tools on this one as well. It is a little bit longer than the, uh, than the Q1. And uh, so this one is 6.3 inches in length and this one is 5.6 in inches in length. And I forgot to mention that the scissors on here are five CR15 MOV, which is the same steel used in the knife blade on the uh, on the Q2. So we can take a look at the four tools here again. It's got some weight to it, so you know it doesn't feel cheap uh, as I thought it would when I first saw these. It definitely feels pretty decent, pretty rugged in the hand. You have a pocket clip on this one as well, and you actually have a lanyard hole on this one too. So that's nice. So right off the front, instead of a pen on this one, you have a 75 lumen flashlight. So that's very cool, very practical uh, to have a flashlight in your kits, for example. And that's where I could see a tool like this landing is uh, slipped into a kit, maybe left in the, uh, you know, the center console of your car, for example, clipped onto your visor, 
uh, you know, or just uh, sort of used as an everyday tool, although it does have quite a bit of length to it. So even though it ha does have the pocket clip, you know, maybe in a coat pocket or something, you could slip this in there. So it does have a flashlight uh, on the tip there. It is a AAA flashlight. So nice common battery there, which is nice. Maybe uh, a good tool to keep in a car kit as well. Now the light doesn't have uh, any different levels of brightness. It just has that 75 lumen setting, but it is quite bright. On the end here, you have the same exact uh, tool that you have on the Q1. You have your bottle opener as well as your flathead screwdriver. And again, that, uh, that pry tip there, which again, I wouldn't put any excessive force on. I'm able to wiggle it a little bit, but you could certainly you know, do some light prying with that as well. So the final tool on the Q2 is a knife blade. So you just, uh, it does have a lock here. So you just press that and that will open up the knife blade. Again, one side of the handle is a little bit longer than the other, but it does come all the way together. And it does give you a nice purchase on the uh, knife blade. Again, you're not gonna be doing anything really heavy duty with this knife blade, but I think this combo is a lot better than the Q1, at least for you know my uses for it, whether it be throwing it in my uh, car kit bag, which is where this will probably go, give me a backup flashlight, a backup blade, and uh, you know a little tool for prying if I would need it, or a little screwdriver. So I do think it is a cool product, and uh, you know more useful than the uh, Q1. Now, one thing that I did find is that the lockup, uh, the safety lock, is not very tight. Now, of course, when you're when you have the knife open, the knife is not going to move on you. There's no play at all in this knife blade, so you don't have to worry about using the knife as you would with maybe a liner lock or something like that coming coming opened, but the the lock is not the the tightest lock in the world. And what I mean by that is if I be really careful here and keep my fingers uh, away from that blade, I'm able to simply just pop the top there, pop the blade out without uh, without disengaging that lock. So, you know, maybe a future improvement would be to increase the safety on that lock. It, you do have to push pretty hard. So it's not like if this is gonna come open in a bag or a pocket, you know, just something for them to consider maybe down the line. We can go ahead and uh, slice some paper with this uh, knife blade. It is quite sharp. As you can see there, the knife blade is really really sharp so very functional as a knife blade just not uh, you just wouldn't want to do anything really heavy duty with it we can lock that away and then of course back on the q1 you know you do have the capabilities of having an ink pen it does feel nice and solid in the hand which is nice and we can go ahead and uh, use our scissors here very very sharp scissors now I do also have the sync 2 from SOG we'll take a look at this in a future video I haven't really played around with it very much uh, you can use the pocket clip or take that off and actually use it as a belt buckle so that's pretty cool and it just has a quick release uh, multi-tool so pretty cool pretty unique again from SOG and again, we'll take a look at this in a future video. So definitely cool and unique, as I've said about a million times in this video. I like the Q2 better than the Q1. The Q1 with the scissors and the pen, especially for $39, doesn't really do it for me. I guess if you had a specific application where you used a pen a lot, where you used scissors a lot, and the form factor or slim design of that particular tool did it for you, then certainly it's worth the money. Again, value to me isn't so much about dollar amount, it's more about how much you're gonna use an item and how well the item's gonna work for your purposes. Do, however, like the Q2, as I said, it would be perfect in a car kit or just in the car in general, maybe in the uh, drawer at work or in the uh, coffee mug at work. It certainly is a conversation piece, but having that knife blade and having the flashlight, I find is more useful than scissors and a ink pen. 
the Q2 comes in at $49, whereas the Q1 comes in again at $39, I think, which is a little bit high priced for what you're getting here. I mean, for $49, you can get a pretty decent multi-tool out there on the market. So maybe a price point that's a little bit lower, maybe $29 or $39 or even $19 and $29 would make more sense. But again, if you have a specific purpose for it, maybe you want to give it as a gift, it'd make a sweet gift for sure. And they are fairly useful. So looking forward to checking out the Q3 and the Q4, but I did want to give you guys a look at the Q1 and the Q2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Again, if you guys have any specific uses that you would use either one of these for, make sure you leave me a comment below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you share it to your friends and family on your social media. And as always, click subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.